Welcome to Holy Friday, folks, here in BGC. The streets are quiet. There's quite a few people about. It's absent of cars. It's quite cool here. There's not a lot of pollution. The air is fresh. And I'm going to show you what BGC looks like in today's video. It's been a couple of weeks now since uh, Eight Cuts has opened. And they've also gone ahead and painted what was once this green electricity box from Ralco into a burger. Look at that. You know, as it is Holy Friday, I was expecting there to be way less people, but there's quite a few people around, but there's no cars whatsoever, as I mentioned earlier. It's really free of noise. Apart from Kuya's motorcycle here, which he's just gone ahead and turned off. Imagine if BGC was like this all the time. You know, today when I looked at the view from my condo over Metro Manila, it was super clear. It was almost like a painting or a picture. And that's probably due to there being hardly any pollution or PM 2.5 in the atmosphere due to the absence of vehicles on the road. Can you imagine if Metro Manila was always like this? Or if there was just EV vehicles and there was no petrol engines, diesel engines on the road? It'd be a very clean city. Oh, Candid is still open. I don't really go here too often. I don't feel the need. I guess on a day like this, it's perfectly acceptable to walk in the middle of the street without, without the fear of dying, really. Well, actually, maybe not, but. <laughs> now, I don't know how long this new ceiling area has been around for, but on a day like this, on a weekday, on a weekend, especially on a Friday, this would be usually rammed with people watching or spectating the folks playing football here from kids to adults and this is a new bit of turf that's gone up here on the bgc turf area but it looks like there's also rubber so mm, you can't really slide on this surface because you're going to rip your skin off if you do a lot of football fields in the uk are kind of like this i would prefer if it was just pure astroturf because then you wouldn't have that sort of friction if you do slide or going for a slight tackle Malls such as Uptown Mall, Mitsukoshi Mall, One Bonifacio High Street Mall, the Central Square Mall, they're all closed. And I can attest that Uptown Mall and Mitsukoshi Mall are closed. But uh, when I was about yesterday and I went over to the High Street, they were also closed on Thursday. Mm -hmm. It's pretty bleak. And I actually went into Because Coffee, you know, underneath the 3D billboard yesterday. And I tried to get myself a coffee there, but because the mall it's kind of integrated in was essentially closed they turn off all the acs and so it was incredibly hot in because coffee yesterday and i couldn't get a coffee there so i went elsewhere but because coffee is usually really really cold the ac system is strong but when the malls are closed they turn them all off and it gets really hot so they had these giant fans in the shop in the cafe just blowing air but that wasn't working at all and they even had the bloody door open to try and get some draft through the coffee shop. You know, they did say everything in BGC would be closed, but the coffee shops are still going in strong. We saw Candid open, the coffee bean and tea leaf is still open, and where I got this Starbucks from, from Uptown Parade, that's also open. So, yeah, coffee shops in BGC got our backs, got the residents back here. But it kind of makes sense that they would be open because on bank holidays, that's the time where most people are probably gonna go visit a cafe because they've got nothing to do and they just wanna relax, maybe have a coffee, have a pastry, and enjoy their day. This is what Uptown Mall looks like when it's closed, but uh, the restaurants on the terraces here on the outside are alive and popping. Actually, they're doing very, very well. Look at the queues outside of Manor. <laughs> they are booming right now. There are. I don't know, maybe 20 people in line waiting to eat. Even the outdoor areas full. It's the same with Nona's. I mean, not so much of a queue at Nona's, but the restaurant inside is definitely full. And that's because there's not a whole lot of restaurants open today. I do want to check the high street, but let's go over to Mr. Koshi Mall first and see that. Now, usually when I want to head to Mitsukoshi Mall to grab some food and then leave, I cross this road, which is almost like a, a three lane highway or that connects you to the Kalayan Bridge. It's a very big road to cross. And it's a very busy road as well because it connects, I guess, Mandaluyong to BGC. You know, there's a lot of people living in these buildings here. Tower 2 Park Suites, Tower 1 Park Suites, Uptown Ritz as well. 
and it would be very convenient. It would put the general public at lower risk if there was a zebra crossing between the main entrance of Tower 1 over there and Mitsukoshi Mall. But what most people end up doing is we actually, a lot of people just jaywalk across because otherwise you'd have to walk all the way along there, go to the traffic lights, then cross over there. But you gotta wait for like, I don't know, a hundred seconds and then walk down here and then get to Mitsukoshi Mall. Whereas if there was a zebra crossing, it would connect the people living in um, the mega world buildings to the federal land buildings very easily. And it also means when people do start moving into the season's residences, if they ever wanted to go and shop at Landers, they could easily do that. Now, I don't know who's responsible for getting a zebra crossing painted on here, but if it's between the two corporations, they should do something. But I don't think they have control over that. That's probably um, the mayor of Tagig or whoever is responsible for the streets of Tagig. But that would be a very clever idea. It would allow residents to move around BGC a lot freer and it would save their time. I pop into Mitsukoshi Mall like two or three times a day. And for me to come out of these buildings here and go all the way around takes about, I don't know, three to five minutes. Whereas it could just take 10 to 20 seconds. Now, could you imagine how cool BGC would be if there was a walkway, like a bridge that connected the mega world buildings to the federal land buildings and you don't have to like cross this road or go over there to the intersection and cross. That would be so convenient for both residences uh, because as I mentioned earlier, the residences living in federal land could go over to Landers easily and the residents living in mega world could pop over to Mitsukoshi Mall as well. Now, federal land has done something like this with its previous project, which I shall show you now. Now, apologies for the really loud noise that's coming from one of the air conditioning units in the Grand Hyatt, but uh, this is what I wanted to show you. This is the perfect example where federal land has implemented walkway bridges between its towers and condominiums. So behind me is the Grand Hyatt residences. I think it's, I think it's the North Tower. And that connects to the Park West building, which is this building here. And underneath the Park West building is like a miniature mall. And then they've got another walkway that connects that building to the set of four condos to conclude the Madison Park West, Park Avenue, Times Square, and one other one. I can't remember the name of it. So you can see how they're all interconnected by these walkways, and it's really nice. Now, why don't Federal Land connect the, this building here, this cluster of condos, to the Seasons? I don't know. They should have. They should have. There should have been another walkway here, and then there should have been like a joint venture between Mega World and uh, Federal Land to also connect the seasons to the mega world condos and landers in that direction. Can you imagine if Uptown was just like, you could, you didn't even have to literally go down to the street level. You could get to all these malls via walkways. That'd be incredible. Unfortunately though, these pedestrian walkways are never ever used. I hardly see anybody walking along them. And I think most people living in Uptown area or in these federal land buildings don't even know how to access them. There's not a lot of people that need to go from the Park West building to the Grand Hyatt building and vice versa. And the same with the Park West building over to the Park Madison West building. All right, folks, I bumped into a friend and we're now going to the high street. He's got his own scooter and I'm on a mover to go grab a coffee. Woo! Well, for anyone wondering where you can chain up your bike or your scooter, there is a place on the high street. I think it's the second block of the high street just before the 3D billboard where you can do exactly that. There's one bicycle and scooter rack here, and then there's another one over there, which seems to be a little bit more busy with bikes. It's pretty cool. I've, I've never noticed this because I'm not, I don't have my own bicycle or scooter, but it's like one of those things where if you do have it, you'll know it's here. 
You're like, oh yeah. Okay, so it's safe like that, is it? All safe, yeah. I don't know if that's all safe, but... Uh... <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> You know, due to a lack of aircon inside because coffee, they've got like a member of staff that's checking our tickets because we're all standing outside because it's way too hot to be in there to wait for your coffee. He's coming outside, checking our numbers and then bring our coffee out here, serving it to us, which is really nice. Very accommodating. How was it? That's good. It's good? Yeah. What did you get? I got the uh, sea salt. Sea salt. <laughs> Well folks, I just wanted to give an update on what VGC looks like on Holy Friday. It's not too much different from the update I made maybe a couple days ago, a week ago. But um, what's different is, of course, the malls are now closed. But folks, I hope you enjoyed your Holy Friday. The time in which you're seeing this video will probably be on a Saturday. But anyway folks, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video, and share with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.